people here, they run away with the keys. They want us to keep working, so now we gotta shake this thing off. Oh, whoops. Get some chain, alright. Got disconnected the bench and it falls off and falls off. Hold on. Rolling! Sometimes if I want the car back further, I go, I go something like that. And I push it like with the bed. <laughs> so you get it off your truck just like that. I don't know what the hell I was doing for years, but you know, figured it out. It's not that hard. No keys. Now you just roll the front wheels. And it gets like real steep, the angle and shit. Uh, how's it wheel lift? This thing all the way down? There we go. And yeah, we're gonna have to put the bed in. And then uh, roll the whole truck out. Come through it that way. I hate when you do it that way. The like right there should be good. Now I just gotta drive the truck and uh, be careful. That worked pretty good. Boom, on the ground. No real damage. Not even on the bumper cover. This truck's so annoying, I wish it was like a Drew Dan and it speeds up, but things jump. Helps them picking these cars up in the mud. Because uh makes them a little easier to slide. Let some sorry sucker go by this thing. I'll never know I treated it like that until they see my video. Place operates, you do one nightmare, you get another one. Certainly get good at nightmares though. That's for sure. Hydraulic. <laughs> Just really disconnected. Oh, my gloves are over there. It's all good. Nice. Push that bitch. Now I can probably yank the emergency brake and just chirp the front wheels all the way off. That. I actually have the car get the fence now. Alright, let's 
try that and drive it. I sure made a mess. I was even playing in the mud. Sometimes it's not always difficult. Open circuit. This one, the temperature sensor doesn't work. I got Duramax diesel, straight piped. Hopefully, this thing's gonna fit on this truck. Uh, hopefully, it's kind of squared up, maybe. Azuzu. This thing has spacers on it, so it sticks out more. Straight pipes. 